everyone and good morning. My name is Giselle Medina and I am a senior here at Louisiana State University studying to be a mechanical engineer. Today I will be talking about engineering in the petroleum industry as well as a little bit of background about the petroleum industry. This presentation is ideally intended for students who are in high school who maybe want to know a little bit more about the oil industry, but please feel free to keep watching if you are interested or want to know more about engineering in the petroleum industry. So without further ado, I'll get started and I hope you enjoy the presentation. It is important to know that the petroleum industry affects many areas in our lives and involves the work of many different engineers and scientists. So before I begin, I'm going to go over the different topics that I'll be addressing today in this presentation. First, I'm going to talk about where petroleum comes from and the products that we get from petroleum, the typical work that mechanical and petroleum engineers do in the petroleum industry, and also how you can make a difference in the world through these or similar occupations in the oil industry. So before I begin the actual presentation, I'm going to show you all a video that gives a brief introduction to the petroleum industry. So sit back, relax, and as soon as the video is over, I'll go ahead and get started. It begins as a mystery on a global scale. Geoscientists gather and analyze the clues that show what lies deep beneath Earth's crust. It becomes an adventure of breathtaking proportions. Man and machine confront the most challenging environments on Earth to produce and transport millions of barrels of oil and millions of cubic feet of natural gas every day while having as small an impact on those environments as possible. Then, it borders on science fiction as chemists and technicians work at the molecular level to unleash the full power of each drop. The happy ending? A reliable supply of oil and natural gas products. So I hope you guys enjoyed that brief introduction video, uh, kind of talking a little bit about the petroleum industry. So now I'm going to start going into a little bit about uh, the background of petroleum. Petroleum is a liquid mixture of hydrocarbons that are present in certain rocks uh, underneath the ground. So this photo here on the left kind of shows where petroleum can be found uh, in relation to standing on the Earth's surface. So you can see here that beneath the ground you'll uh, typically run into a layer of natural gas and once you get below the natural gas you'll reach the oil and there's usually a layer of water uh, underneath the oil here. So to, in order to extract this oil, uh, we have to use a machine called a drilling rig, as you can see here. So this machine drills a hole in the ground until it reaches the petroleum. Then the machine will draw the petroleum from the ground up to the surface in order to be shipped to the refineries. And the petroleum is typically sent to a refinery in order to be further processed in the, into the products that we know, such as gasoline or diesel. So the photo here on the right shows a molecule of oil called a hydrocarbon. You can see that this hydrocarbon consists of atoms of hydrogen and carbon. And each carbon atom in this hydrocarbon has three atoms of hydrogen connected to it. Crude oil is composed of different types of hydrocarbons. In this photo, you can see that each combination of hydrocarbon has a different name. For example, Hydrocarbons that have 7 atoms of carbon and 16 atoms of hydrogen are used to manufacture gasoline. Hydrocarbons which have more than 7 carbon atoms and more than 16 atoms of hydrogen have different classifications or names. Engineers cannot use these other hydrocarbons to produce gasoline, but they can produce diesel or different plastics with the correct combination of atoms. So. In other words, a hydrocarbon of this length and magnitude, such as for plastic, cannot be used to make gasoline because it's not the right combination of atoms. There are, however, processes that engineers can use to break the long chain hydrocarbons, such as these plastics, into smaller chain hydrocarbons that we normally use, such as gasoline. So when the long hydrocarbon chains are broken through the use of catalysts, they form different hydrocarbons, such as again gasoline or diesel that the engineers can actually use for further processing in order to make products that we want to use more of such as um, oil for our cars or fuels for jets. 
When the oil is extracted from the ground, engineers can refine this oil to produce gasoline, diesel, and other products. Did you know that there are also other products that we can get from petroleum that are not gasoline? If you didn't know this, that's okay, and that's what I'm here to talk about. Uh, it's not uncommon for people to assume that you only get gasoline from a barrel of oil, but you can actually get a lot of different products that we use as well. So, actually only a little over 19 gallons in a 42 gallon barrel of oil contains hydrocarbons used to produce gasoline. The other gallons have hydrocarbons that make diesel, jet fuel, uh, liquefied petro petroleum gases, other distillates, chemicals, and other products. So using these chemicals and other products of oil, engineers and manufacturers can manufacture things that we get from the store such as toothbrushes and shirts. Now I'm not saying that these products directly make these shirts or toothbrushes, however, they do produce chemicals that manufacturers need in order to make these products, such as um, certain waxes or certain chemicals needed for plastics, etc. So now I want to talk about an example that explains how petroleum might be necessary in order to manufacture common day-to-day -day things we find at the store. And in this example, I'm going to talk about uh, how a certain product from oil helps us to manufacture birthday candles. So we're going to start with a chemical compound called paraffin. For those of you that don't know, candles are made of paraffin wax, which is a byproduct of crude oil. This chemical, once extracted from the petroleum, is then sent to a chemical plant. The paraffin is then converted into paraffin wax pebbles, as you can see in this photo right here. Then these pebbles can be combined to form blocks of paraffin wax. And then finally, these manufacturers can use these blocks of paraffin wax to make the birthday candles that we know and love today. Okay, so now that we know a little bit about petroleum and some of the products that we get from the crude oil, I'm going to talk about the roles of petroleum and mechanical engineers specifically in the oil industry. Now later on in the presentation I will talk about different occupations that do work in the oil industry, but for now I'm just going to focus on petroleum engineering and mechanical engineering. So a petroleum engineers identify where oil is located and determines the safest and most effective ways to extract the oil from the ground. In the middle of the screen you can see this is a picture of my friend Steele. Steele is actually a petroleum engineer who works for Marathon uh, as of today. She can have three different jobs in the oil industry. She could be a reservoir engineer who works to find oil in the ground. She could be a field engineer, or she could be a drilling engineer who works with the drilling rigs, as you can see in this picture, in order to extract the oil from the ground. So as a petroleum engineer, you can work in these three different roles, and there are some other ones, but I just wanted to cover these three briefly to give you an idea of the different types of roles you can play in this oil industry. So to give a little background about mechanical engineering, Mechanical engineers typically design and manufacture everything from small individual parts to machines to large systems. In the middle of the screen here, uh, this is a picture of me. Uh, this is me in my uniform when I was working in a refinery here in southern Louisiana. So I too as a mechanical engineer can have different roles in the refinery such as those listed on the screen. So I could be a rotating equipment engineer and this is an engineer who typically works with machines such as compressors, pumps, and turbines. I could also be a drilling engineer like my friend Steele in Petroleum, or I could be a fired equipment specialist. Now a fired equipment specialist is responsible for maintaining the condition of heated equipment and is also responsible for maintaining the appropriate temperatures and different heaters and related machines uh, within the refinery. So now you know a little bit more about mechanical and petroleum engineering uh, in the oil industry. However, I want to reiterate that those are not the only two types of jobs you can have in the oil industry. It's really important to know that engineers and scientists work side by side every day to transform this oil extracted from the ground into products we find at the store or use in our cars and airplanes. There are also other professions which can work in the oil industry as well, like I said earlier. 
So some of these other professions uh, include engineers. So there's chemical engineers, environmental engineers, electrical engineers, computer engineers. There's many different types of engineers that also work in the oil industry. We also have construction managers or construction scientists, which help kind of plan the different layouts of the refineries and the oil rigs. We have geologists who help our petroleum engineers to find where the oil is located, as well as possibly locate areas that we can expand our search for oil. And we also have chemists who may work in our chemical plants or help to process the oil into the products that we use every day. And it's also important to note that business and financial personnel can also work in the oil industry to help with more economic matters. So I just want to take this time to thank you all so much for watching this presentation of the petroleum industry. I hope that this was helpful and informative, and I especially hope you are now thinking about working in the petroleum industry. I really want you guys to remember that this industry is not just about dirt and oil. It is about providing for the world's energy needs and making a difference in the world. Again, thank you so much for watching this presentation, and please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.